Hey everyone, this is Day Trader Rockstar, and this is going to be a midweek update, uh, both on great setups that were put out the last couple of weeks and what setups for this week. Normally, um, I, I came on with the, uh, the intention of doing two videos, a YouTube video, which is kind of a promotion video and an update uh, for the HPS watch list, but I'm going to combine them all in, in uh, one video. That way everyone gets a taste of everything, and now what the taste is, the taste of, uh, you know, what we're doing with the HPS uh, site these days. And the HPS site is really the high probability setups uh, based on really quality uh, stocks based off of five indicators, letting those indicators all converge and taking those high, high probability, low, ri low risk trade setups. And uh, every week I send out a watch list, which, uh, you know, basically um, is what you're going to see right here. These, these are the stocks in the watch list. And I've been really... Um, to go over a couple of these setups, the ones that have been activated and I've recently. What you'll see here is I've uh, color, coordinate, color coordinated them so they're easier to read. The blue means the buy zone, the yellow, orange means the profit zone. Any information or points of interest will be in this, um, this bluish color. And of course, the stop out and any trend lines, channels, and stuff. And along with this comes the, uh, the video which is based like you're seeing right now. So basically I'm showing the video with the HPS setups, talking about the setups and these setups are going. The little arrow on the right hand side, um, as the, as each day trade uh, you know continues, you can update this. You can actually look back and look at the trade and see how it performed. And, and again, this is a great uh, setup. This is one of the HPS setups. And um, you know, because there's you know sometimes many good setups in a week I've been classifying uh, the top setups as best bets and there's usually not more than three but definitely give them some of the newer traders uh, a better advantage of not getting overwhelmed by certain setups in the market these are the ones that have all the indicators uh, we try to look for um, at least three out of five indicators lining up and those indicators of um, you know can be found um, I have many vi uh, many videos on that uh, that whole style trend, the whole methodology. So I won't go into it right now, but there's plenty of, you're looking at this video, you've probably seen uh, hundreds of my other videos. So again, um, again, this one already took this one off today. It was uh, SI Siemens. And you can see how we pulled back here. We bounced and again, we had a nice oversold daily 60 stochastic multiple time frames, a nice flag basically in this pullback and a, a nice, you know, over a dollar a move on this stock. So it really worked out good. Only took us uh, a, really two days to get to where we wanted to get. It still has a ways to go. I still think the profit zone's up by 105 to 106. But when we get, uh, you know, I use other uh, methods to take profits usually on a, a tighter time frame, the 60-minute chart. So that's important also to recognize. Uh, you know, when you do want to take a pr uh, the profit, is why why is that? Now I'm going to show you that SI. And this is just a basic uh, chart of that. Um, the other chart. Is you can see how I break that chart. You know that it gets bro broken down into a nice color corded and much prettier chart, and then versus my chart that we go over during the radio show each day. So um, we take a look at that 60-minute chart, and you can see the 60-minute chart. This was really a nice setup, and again, a couple other things we want to talk about these setups. This was a, uh, a textbook coil stochastic downward channel setup. Uh, you know, this is one of the Rockstar playbook plays, and this could be found on the members forum. There's five great setups that I uh, try to search for in the markets. This one is a coiled stochastic downward channel. Uh, you take the trade off the lower trend line, or you take it on a divergence. In this case, you had the divergence, which was that support line and an oversold level plus the 60 minutes. So this was really that buy signal right here. And again, here's your move up and. Right now we got an overbought level, so we we take profits into that. You know, we just take it because we're not. You know, there's, the markets are not guaranteed. You know, but what we do have is a, a nice move, and you continue to lock those in, just like anything. It starts to build up, so it's a, a, you know just a a great uh, method to go by, and you know kind of takes a lot of the risk out of the market, it takes a lot of the uncertainty, a lot of the fear, a lot of the greed. When you use some indicators to help you get in. Use those same indic indicators to help you get out, and that way it takes a lot of the pressure off you. So I'm just going to go over some of the setups from uh, this this week that we've t taken already, and I'm actually going to give you a bonus, considering this is going to go out on YouTube. I've been uh, focusing all my uh, all my research and stuff just really to the, uh, the members of Day Trading Radio, but we've been doing so good, I'm throwing everyone a bone out there. So I have some great new setups for you. 
and uh, let's, let's let's break these down for you right now. All right, here is Budweiser, and again, these st these stocks are still really good stocks, even though you've you know if you're watching this uh, video for the first time and haven't heard about the HPS uh, setups, you're getting this after we've already gotten out. But you can see uh, the how the methodology works. You have the underlying trend line, which is the identified. You have the oversold stochastics, and you have a quality stock. That's the main three things that we're looking at, and the dual you know of course the dual stochastic multiple time frame, a lot of things to flag the pullback again quality name. So very easy entry, very uh, you know a very low risk uh, trade. And again, today we actually went right up and hit our profit zone. For those uh, you know, what do these profit zones and buy zones mean? Well, um, if you're on day trading radio, any of these setups that are that get sent out, and again, there's a list of them that you can go to the HPS setup site. I'll show you what that looks like fast. And I'm not gonna, and you have a list of stocks here that are all set up. Um, Entry prices, targets, and stuff. You click on those; they'll come up with the charts. All those, uh, all those levels are already uh, programmed into the site. So when we do get to, uh, hits a buy trigger, you know, or it comes down to a buy zone, in this case, Air Products, uh, you, you get that automatically sent to you. Um, I usually announce it. You get it if you're on the site. You get it, uh, you know, you get an alert on the site in the chat room in the trade alert box. If you're not on the site, you get an email, a direct email, right to you at the, at the time of that uh, activation, and you also get a you know an email also in confirmation anytime one of these targets are hit. So if a buy trigger is hit, you get an idea, you know you get that you get that information sent right to you. If the profit zone is hit. If you're away from your computer and you're like, all right, well, I want to get out of this because I know you know you know I hit its target and I might not be in front of my computer. You get that email and you could take steps to get out of that trade. And the same thing if a stop. Is hit and you're not, uh, you know, not around the computer. If you're around the computer, hopefully you're following these. But again, you just click on the, uh, you know, you can see the follow through here. And actually, we're very close to hitting our target on this. And this is one of the best bets uh, for this week, also. And again, textbook flag, textbook flag. These are just, you know, and again, the color coordinated uh, uh, buy trigger zones, profit zones, stops, all automatically added into the platform. So once you're once you're in the system, you automatically get the alerts. So another great setup. And you can see there's a lot here. Um, again, really, really nice. We'll take a look at, uh, we'll leave this one. This one's still active. Um, APD, we just went over that. Um, Okay, let's take a look at Exxon Mobil. It's not activated yet. The PSMT. A lot of these uh, HPS setups. Again, here's another good example of one. Our setup. So future move. So if I I recognize a, a nice downward channel, an upward channel, and we have multiple areas to trade. When I see that no, next multiple area uh, trade setup, I'm going to identify that in this uh, watch list. In this watch list, you'll be able to set it up on anything. But better yet, again, this will be in here. So if we ever get down to this trend line or this area between 86 and 6, 86, 60 and 86, then you'll get the alert and you'll know, hey, this stock is down to its trend line. It's probably a, a good setup right now. I also identify a lower channel line here for down down the road. And again, I always review these stocks each week. So if these price levels move and the target levels move, they get adjusted and they're updated on the site. So the profit zone, this is actually has two great setups and we're just waiting for these to set up. So this is a case where, um, you know, we're just waiting for that multiple uh, indicator set up. If it's this lower trend line, and we're gonna look for that profit here. If we end up coming down to this one later on, you know, I also want to be watching that because this is what we call a one, two, three pattern, and it made a, a nice flag that's going on. So Exxon Mobil is like money in the bank right now. I'm really excited about that, and you could watch uh, watch that trade take place probably over the next couple of weeks when we come down to one of our zones. All right, here is uh, again. You could pretty much see the, uh, the how these these um, these setups appear. You know, I, I trade a lot of channels. I trade a lot of support. Uh, channel lines we call channel lines either way uh, trend lines uh, flags are really good support levels the stochastics are really important for me here this was last week's uh, best bet target and target here again in the video I talked about waiting uh, watching this target come down here to lower trend line anywhere in this area would have been nice but I expected it to come down to this lower trend line because we wanted this wanted to let the stochastics rotate back down here now we click on there and you can actually see how that trade came right down to that trend line 
and we pop here. Now the stochastic's not uh, updating because I'm not live right now, but that really rotated right back down, and we bounced and we bounced right up our target zone and took those pro. Well, this was target, and um, actually I actually didn't get in on this one. I was kind of <laughs> sidetracking trading some other stocks at the same time, and this was the best bet from last week. Um, but anyway, great setup as it as it was, and you can recognize. Um, everyone has the option to get in or get out of the positions that they get alerted to. That's that's the beauty of it. It's not, you know, nothing other than that. So, again, the great setups here continue to come down. Um, these are all still setting up. Again, Target, uh, U.S. Steel, which is starting to work out. Uh, Discovery Financial, which we had. This is a nice recognizable wedge pattern. You can recognize the underlying channel lines. Um, because it's a wedge pattern, there's a certain way I, I trade wedges. I look for that 65 to 75 percent area in a wedge is where you get the, the high probability of a breakout to the upside in this in a falling wedge. The rising wedge is the same thing, but it's a breakdown to the downside. So this was really a, just a, a nice setup, and you can see how that played out. It just it performed exactly what uh, as expected, and we took the profits on that, and that was just another you know continuation of of the HPS site and there's so many other ones out here you know we continue just all the way down these are the HPS sites from the last weeks and you'll notice if you like these type of setups the, the perfect flags the quality stocks the perfect channels to understand why you're getting in and why you're getting out and have it alerted to you then you definitely have to check out day trading radio um, again here's your IMAX this was a textbook uh, textbook flag we took this trade we took it out. You can see today it even extended further, um, and that one of the reasons was I had a target above this one. And again, a lot of education comes along with these videos. Even though we're learning what to trade, um, it's it's almost better to know why you're trading it. You know, you want to be able to identify a flag, understand what a target of a flag is, how stocks really move around, why you're using stochastics, long-term, multiple time frames, and where this could actually go. Like IMAX, still looking very good. I would. Um, you know, probably expect IMAX to push up a little bit higher, but again, the trade, you know, we accomplished the trade we wanted to get. I got this big spike. We took profits into it. Now I'm just going to let it set up again, and for that to set up, I'm going to be looking for my indicators to all line up, um, be, it, be it here, you know, be it flagging out again, or for some reason we end up coming back down here. I'll know about it. It's on my HPS so watch list, so every week I go over it, and then once we start to establish a good trading stock and we come down to a certain line, you get the alert and you're able to get back in and uh, just a, a, a great great setup right there so I also promise you uh, besides showing you a lot of the great setups in the HPS site and how that's set up and how that's progressing again with the color coordinated buy triggers sell zones uh, if it's a short it'll be a short zone and a short trigger it's not uh, not to say that we don't do that it's just the market has been very strong and this market is set up for longs right now the shorts have getting crushed even though I did initiate a short this week in Altria and we'll maybe talk about that in a second but you can see like, continued uh, great setups even the Activision um, now what a what a great setup here Activision you know I didn't trade this I'm not a big fan of uh, stocks under twenty dollars but you can see a classic downward channel this channel typically breaks to the upside we had some. We had a double bottom back here, and we had this nice little flag, which is what you want to see in a downward channel like this. This is like just a little pullback before we get the breakout, and from that point on, you could actually see how we r rallied and broke out, and then earnings came out and it popped up. But again, even some low price stocks, as long as they have a quality name to them, will end up on the list. But I would say the majority of the time, you're looking at stocks that are trading over forty dollars. And don't be scared of those stocks. By no means be scared. Be scared of those type of stocks. They actually have, uh, they have the, the type of momentum and and the, the action and the volume you want to be. And you want quality names. You want that because, you know, once you're able to identify a great great trading stock, you can always come back to it. You know how it works. You start to become familiar with it, and uh, you become com comfortable and confident in trading. That's that's a major thing right there to be comfortable and confident of your trades. So it's, it takes patience, discipline, and you know this is a style of trading that will you know force you to take those uh, those two attributes and and really um, you know hold them tight to you. All right, so let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. 
Yeah, I, I was going over some uh, great setups this week, and I'm not going to, sh- you know, some of these are on the HPS set. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to put these on my raw chart. This is my raw chart. Um, again, we talked about the F5. So RMBS. Now, again, every so often I'll, ch- I'll give you a, sh- a, a, a cheapie, all right? Here's a cheapie right now. And uh, let me just pause this for a second. All right, so again, even Rambus, you know, um, you, just a perfect textbook textbook flag right now. Everything actually looks good for a $5 stock. You know, it's just uh, every so often I want to throw something out out there that's quality like this. You know, it has a quality name. I wouldn't say it's a quality uh, company, but a long, long base, a beautiful flag. It's a cheapie, so, if, you know, there's a special one for you. I expect this one to pop uh, within the next couple of days. Now, I'll give you a little uh, a little bonus. Like I do, I haven't been doing videos on YouTube as much, so I want to give you this week's best bet. And uh, and NAV is one of those best bets. NAV, NAV, uh, Navistar. You can see a textbook flag here's developing. We have a coil. Well, we have a kind of an embedded stochastic here. It's really a stochastic. It's kind of chopping around at the top range, and this could continue to do this for a while. And this could actually uh, channel up. And this is really coming out of a base. So once you start to establish a few flags coming out of the base, you just want to continue to do that. So we're going to look for that. Hopefully, extension, you know, we'll call the, an expansion range on the bar, which uh, takes, you know, it's a larger bar. Here's an example, one right there. You know, a large bar that really encompasses a bigger move than the last seven days. Um, and you can see the bars here have been quite small. So we're overdue for a big breakout. So we're looking for that. And that, uh, again, that's in focus right now. On day trading radio over the next over this week, so you can watch that. Now a couple of new ones um, I want to talk about ACN. Now this is uh, also embedded to the upside, and again this market's been very strong. Um, nice little flag developing. It's holding a 20 period moving average. It hasn't broken out yet. Just want to bring it to your attention, ACN. All right, we already talked about the APD flag breaking out to the upside, and again. You see how the crossover here on the stochastics giving us great momentum. Really getting to the meat of the move, so we're going to look for this follow through. And this looks, this is prime time for follow through. This is probably actually one of the best bets for tomorrow, actually, if you're going to be trading the markets on Wednesday. This is one that I'm looking to uh, make its move here. APD. All right, and um, we're going to have uh, AstraZeneca coming out with a dividend tomorrow, which is going to be going to drop this uh, stock down a dollar and change. And this is going to be a great opportunity to get in on that. So, Again, AstraZeneca, even though it's a buy, sig- a buy zone right now based off the HPS, we have to always prepare ourselves for some news out there, uh, be it earnings, be it dividends, be it you know whatever it is, stock splits and stuff. We want to know what's happening in the market at that time. So this one uh, is uh, something we're gonna, I'm going to probably end up taking tomorrow uh, into that dividend and uh, look for this to actually be a good good position trade. So this is this is set up, and that's another nice one for you. So we'll continue to roll on here. Corning. Corning, just to go back on Corning, because I remember we're looking at Corning here, and this is this is big. This is actually big. You know, it's big that it's under, you know, it's a, it's a cheapy, you know, I, I tend to, you know, shy away from that. But one thing we do have is we're recognizing that this is pretty much a downward channel. Now we could probably adjust these channel lines a, a little and make everything fit normally and see how it does fit. Does this one pull out to here and does this give us an, an actual channel or do we get a wedge? Overall, it's it's not bad. It's, it's it, I've you know I don't mind you know you know understanding what channel you know channels don't have to be the exact. A perfect thing. I want to be able to know that you know that we do have a, a recognizable level, pretty equal distance. And once we start to recognize that, we can start working off of that. Now, what I'm working off of that is, all right, daily's a little overbought. We had a, a recent pullback, which was a great setup in a flag, and we're in this downward channel. So it's something to pay attention to. You know, I think uh, I think it's something to pay attention to. The only thing I, I I'm worried about is the overbought stochastics here. You know, but this could easily stay embedded. We actually could get this push out eventually out of this downward channel. This is, could be set up for a longer term trade. There's no doubt about it. I've, I haven't seen this stock set up like it has been in a long time. So it has some, you know, it's interesting. It's 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 uh, something I like right now. So we'll probably end up focused on that a little bit more in the next couple of days. 
wish I just had an opportunity to, you know, to get in on uh, the HPS soda. Here we broke it down to the 16 minute chart and this was really the HPS setup here and I know people on the site actually took this trade. Now we're kind of extended with an HPS a sell signal up here and we are starting to pull back but a very strong stock and probably is going to head higher down the road. Talked about AstraZeneca um, and I have some stocks in the future that are setting up and again these are always good to pay attention to. I write them down in a little section of my notebook called future stocks. And in, uh, and uh, just things that I have to remember because if I forget, you know, I just want them to. Uh, I want to pay attention to them. This is Express Scripts, and uh, we see what we have here is a a good ascending triangle, and we're kind of crossing back over. And ascending triangles are not, you know, again, I don't like trading um, certain patterns because certain patterns are are, uh, are um, you know, almost like traps in the market, you know. The old style, the book here would talk about. I tell you, my phone is going off. Like a thing. They're, you know, they have this guy, um, Dorner, they're trapped in the, you know, blowing up his cabin. They're fighting up in Big Bear. I mean, it's, it's kind of like uh, glued to the TV following this story. It sucks all my energy out. It's 9.30 at night. It's <laughs> uh, all right. Um. Anyway, um, Express Scripts, you know, what we call, you can look in a textbook and say, well, an ascending triangle, you know, price kind of moves up here, pushes up against here, there's a supply up here that keeps on being sold into. Finally, the, the supply dries up and the stock's supposed to pop, but lots of times people pay attention to this trend line and they don't realize that this, this pivot down here is probably the bottom part of a channel. Lots of times you see a move down here and then you get to move up and it's a big fake out breakout. Um, sometimes you get a breakout, but I just don't believe taking breaks at breakouts in this market as much as taking a high probability setup on multiple indicators, which work 75% of the time, all right, at least. And you know, and from that point, you could you could pick and choose your setups. But uh, Express Scripts is interesting, interesting pattern. Um, I would like to see it. Like I, that's why I have it uh, on a, as future stocks to see if it does break down here. If it does break down, then I would look for that reversal and, and move up. I still want to have my stochastic set up properly. This is like starting to coil up a little. We might actually just break back down, and I wouldn't mind if we did break back down on this one. I would not mind at all. So watching it, um, this one's on the, one of the HPS setups, but it's. Um, it's programmed into the uh, site for the members to alert us uh, when we get down to the lower pivot area down here, uh, 7050 area. And even though we're at the 200 period moving average and we're getting oversold, I still have the alerts in the uh, computer to alert us of that move because I like this one. If not, I actually might get a move up here. But again, just waiting on that. And uh, nothing happening there. I did think that waste management. I wanted to take a look at that, but nothing seen there. And that's about it. Um, there's a lot of other stocks that we have lined up on the HPS site. Um, definitely come over and visit uh, Day Trading Radio. I'm broadcasting the markets each and every day starting about 8.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. And we go all the way to the market closed. And we have other t shows taking over the overnight trade. So you always plenty of t trading, uh, pl 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 plenty of trader education, guests, news, um, earnings, uh, live trading, great music, and everything else that comes along with that. So, I'm Day Trader Rockstar. Hope you enjoyed this little update, and I'll see you in the markets.